a limit day. One, two, three, four, a limit day. <laughs> My name is Amber. I'm an account executive for a communications management firm. There's kind of two sides of me. I'm very athletic and yet I used to model, so I like to play a lot of sports and yet I also like to get dressed up and go out at night. I want a guy who, even when I'm in the relationship, still kind of plays hard to get. A limited. <laughs> I thought the McVetridge Sports Center would be a good place to start the date so we could get some Chicago-style hot dogs and a competitive game of hockey. I'm hoping these guys will go toe-to-toe -to -toe with one another. Uh, I don't mind arrogance um, because it's a challenge for me. Right off the bat when I meet her, I want to give her the laugh. I'm Steve and I'm a manufacturing consultant. How you doing? It's Fine, a pleasure thanks. to meet you. Amber. I'm Steve. Steve, Finally nice to, to meet you. Finally get to put the rooms to rest. <laughs> yeah. Oh, beautiful. Not Thank to be old-fashioned, but I want ah, something sweet for no way. someone sweet. No way. Aww. So, did you hear about the fight at the candy store? No, I didn't. Two suckers got licked? Oh, I thought she was drop-dead gorgeous. I think I'm a great catch because I'm strong in my mind and body and soft inside my heart. My name is Paul. I play professional football in Europe. Hi. My name is Paul. Paul, oh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Amber. I thought Amber was great. I thought she was really hot. I definitely like girls that like sports, especially Chicago sports. My name is Rob, I'm a commercial real estate broker, but in my free time, I'm a professional mascot. Look at all this, I'm, I'm Rob. showered. Rob, Hi. nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How's I'm Amber. Going? Nice to meet you, Amber. Got a little something Thank for you. Thank you. You're welcome. I think Amber is definitely an attractive woman. I'm a very competitive person, whether it be women or sports. I hate to lose. My name is Vinny and I'm a civil engineer. Hi. Hi. Amber, nice, to meet, nice to meet you. What'd you say your name was again? Vinny. Vinny. Uh, Vinny was the athletic guy that I'm looking for, that I like. Well, I brought you guys here to the McFetridge Sports Center. I thought we'd go in and eat some Chicago-style hot dogs and maybe play a little pickup game of hockey. Oh, that All right. sounds, sounds good. good. All right, follow All right. me. All right. Thank you. Good, ladies. Time for some dogs. I'll let you guys go first. No, ladies no. first. Oh, Absolutely. What? Throw it all on. Hot pepper, everything on it. Everything, no onions. Chicago-style dog, please, my friend. What do you guys do for a living? I'm a commercial real estate broker, but I'm also actually a professional mascot. He seems to be proud for a lot of things that I kind of would keep under the table if I was him. That's just something that I don't think anyone ever wants to do. So I got um, <laughs> the mascot. Really what else do you guys do? I'm a civil engineer. Right. I design roads and bridges, that type of stuff. Not real exciting. When I first saw Vinny, I pretty much realized that I had a good shot at winning this thing. He seems like uh, the gentle giant. He'd be a good guy to break your leaves or something if you live next door, but I can't imagine anybody ever wanting to go out with him. Oh, wow. Okay, I got a hot pepper. Who wants my hot pepper? I'll take it. Just throw it out. Yeah, you might jump up and start dancing. All right. Yeah, I'm going to dance for a hot pepper. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. I knew that the guys were going to make fun of the mascot thing. It's sort of an easy target, but it's also something that sets me apart from these other chumps. Paul, what do you do? I uh, play pro football in Europe. What Europe. position do you play? Quarterback. So you're the next Kurt Warner? So, uh, maybe, you never know. When he said he was a quarterback, I was even more surprised because he kind of has a gut. The only quarterbacking I could see Paul doing is quarterbacking long johns into his pot of coffee. What do you do? But I do consulting. I do a lot of traveling, so. You like traveling? Oh, I love traveling. You know, it keeps it interesting. You never sit at the same desk too long and uh, never work with the same people. Mm -hmm. so. Steve looks like the love child of Gene Wilder and Harpo Marx. Steve is just an all-around chump. So did you guys ever um, play sports to get chicks? It's a whole point, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's clear that he would play sports or probably take ballet classes to meet women because he really doesn't have much of a shot outside of that. You might be in football, but if you get volleyball, basketball, running, I'd be all three of you, hands down. Like, I know he's taller than me, but I'll school him in basketball. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm not even joking. We don't put on yeah. a big head and be just as tall as one of his mascot heads. <laughs> yeah, I know, maybe if you put on just some, as tall. Uh, some elevator <laughs> shoes, you might have a chance with it's, some sports. It's fine. No, no, you can uh, talk about the height, but... Those little kids know. chasing you around all the time, trying to kick you in the butt with big heads on, right? <laughs> makes me right? Yeah, yeah, makes me quick and nimble. That's right. Rob reminds me of what we call Joe Pesci syndrome. One of those guys who has to keep chirping in your ear and chirping in your ear and bouncing in front of the girl, trying to get her attention because he's shorter than she is. So, um, you guys think athletes are better in bed? Oh, absolutely. Definitely. There's no doubt about no, it. I would definitely say so. Why? Everything that you use to, that you use for sports and competition, you have to use for that as well. Weren't you just talking about how quick you were? I could have sworn I heard you say that. <laughs> that's a bit sad. Yeah. Last time I heard fast wasn't good in the bedroom, but maybe he's had other experiences. You guys want to hit the ice and play some hockey, and Absolutely. hopefully I can Let's teach some of you guys that don't know how to skate. Just a thing or two. Right. Put, your feet on the, put your feet on the ground. Yeah, 
And I'll take a shorter stick. I'm supposed to let you embarrass yourself. Hey, you're not falling down. The main thing I'm looking for in a guy is athleticism. I hope that they are extremely competitive. Oh. Oh. And work for my attention. Oh. A competitive nature is important to me because it shows a guy is willing to work for what he wants. You guys lined up? No. You can drop your sticks. Whoever makes it to me first can be my teammate. The looks on their faces and just the drop and go, that was great. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Can I stop at you? Oh, you can just start me. <laughs> So it's us two and you two. We're just playing two on two, and whoever scores, then we'll switch up. I don't know how to play. Oh, and, oh. I was out there to compete a little and uh, get shoulder to shoulder with Amber. Oh, I lost it. Oh, watch my face. Steve's strategy was trying to get close to her and have physical contact with her, but trying to knock her down and steal the puck away from her, I think he went a little bit overboard. Jesus. All three of them! Oh. Amber was very sexy on the ice. I mean, she had tight black pants on, total turn on. Amber is one very talented skater. It's hard to find a woman who's as beautiful as she is and as talented and athletic as, as she is. I think the hockey was a cool idea. I mean, it's something different. I thought playing hockey was kind of a neat idea. I'd never skated before, and I at least skated as well as most of those guys. I think I did pretty well, considering that the skates I had didn't really fit. Paul was clearly the worst guy on the ice. Rob was the worst on the ice. He's probably the least coordinated. Thank God Paul was here for the first round. So every time I looked over, he was falling, sucking air, stopping into the boards. I'd have to say Vinny was the worst. You know, I felt bad for him, and he hated every single second out of that ice. Okay. Up oh next, God. can you guess who Amber will eliminate first? I think Paul's probably going to be the one to get the axe this round. He just was uh, too quiet, too standoffish, and almost seemed angry the whole time. Paul's going to be the first one to cut. I think Rob is definitely going to get the axe because Steve is too obnoxious to get cut so fast, he's gonna ruin a little bit more of my day. I'm torn between who's gonna actually eat the rat on this round, but I have to think that it's Paul. He just has nothing to offer here. A limited. <laughs> it's time for the first cut. Will it be Vinny, Paul, Rob, or Steve? All right, well, here comes the hard part, you guys. Um, first of all, I wanna thank you for coming out and being good sports, but I have to eliminate somebody, and even though I don't like doing this, uh, I think I'm gonna cut Paul first. Oh, <laughs> oh why? Sincere. You're quiet. You're kind of quiet and a um, little bit uh, introverted, and the guy that I'm looking for, uh, I want him to be outgoing. She's looking for someone who's competitive to, you know, have a great relationship with. She's gonna miss out on it. I was a little surprised at his reaction when I told him he was cut. He looked like his dog was hit by a car or something. So I think once we were on the ice, it was pretty much over for him. There was no, uh, no chemistry there whatsoever. You know, he was quiet the whole time. He wasn't competitive. Amber, I think you're a beautiful woman, and I just wish you all the best. When I brought these guys to shenanigans, they probably thought we were here just for a couple of drinks, a good time. But what I was really looking for was some arrogance. I wanted somebody to challenge me. So you're 6'6". Six, six. How tall are you guys? I'm 6'2". All right, they got That's me here. Right. <laughs> if I hang from right. a jungle gym, I'm like 5'11". How's that? <laughs> Sounds How are you? good. Yes. I'm 5'10". So I guess you're looking up. <laughs> Things are always looking up for me, so that's not a problem. I'm used to it. Jungle gym. Jungle gym. Okay, I wouldn't mind trying that. I feel, I feel horrible for Rob, the fact that he's staring at her, all, staring up at her all the time. He probably can't even see the top of her head. Do you, through the do you guys work out? By the way, do you guys ever go to hit the gym? Yeah, oh, yeah I'm definitely the gym. Not too much. Get out of here. I don't. I really don't. It's all natural? Well, it's not all natural. It looks like you put on that shirt four years ago and grew into it. Who are you kidding? <laughs> I mean, you probably, you probably had to take a, some kind of shovel to stuff you in there. 
at Walmart have a special going on? I don't, I mean, I don't understand what you're talking about. What's that? Oh, that, you know, I don't need to show him. This guy's over here flexing. I'll tell you what, nobody has to show anybody anybody else's muscles. Why don't we just take it over there to the arm wrestling machine right here? Oh, wow. I wanted to find out what they thought of each other, or who was the strongest, and I think everybody was pretty intimidated by Vinny because he's a big guy. Are you guys ready? Ready, hit it. Oh, you guys all get it, get it. me that Steve won, to be honest. Giddy up! <laughs> All right, hey, why don't we try it left-handed? You're in the weak arms. Why don't we go the weak arms? Steve is after me, obviously, because I'm the big threat on the field. It's just like going for the quarterback's knees when he's in the pocket. Boys, I'm getting tired. Cameron, do you want to go in for me? I don't. You can take snow puck I... with your left hand. She probably could. All right, I'll take him. You'll take uh -oh. it? I'll take it. Let's get it. You know what I'm doing here? You do this. It's all over. Did you this, take what are you doing? This, this is... I've got spaghetti own. arms. I always said that I wanted a guy who could challenge me. I never wanted a guy to let me win. Ready? Yeah. Go. Come on. <laughs> oh. If you ask me, that's just a big cheese ball move, trying to get in a kiss in the middle of a sporting event or in the middle of a competition. Amber made it very clear that she likes a guy that's aggressive, and I knew that I had to make the first move for a kiss. Since you won, all do right. we have anything we want to make these guys do? I've been waiting for this chance all night. What's that? There's a stage, and we have a man. Can I make a suggestion? Sure. Instead of the stage, can we go for the shower? Oh, wow. <laughs> I did not even see that. Let's go for the shower, guys. I knew that there was a shower behind the bar, and I thought that'd be a little more embarrassing and a little more appropriate for a loser to get up and do. I don't think Vinny has a very strong tolerance for getting embarrassed, because I could tell that uh, he wasn't having any fun up there. tell from the shower scene that Rob was the entertainer. Woo! He pulls off his belt on stage and uh, dances like a football. By and far, the best thing I did was getting up on that stage and dancing because I stole the show. Obviously, I wasn't the dancer that uh, Rob was, but actually, I'm happy I wasn't the dancer Rob was. Although now, I have a wet crotch. You know, I don't know who was the winner and loser up there on that stage, but I'll tell you, I'm glad I wasn't, up, I wasn't part of that. Who will Amber eliminate next? Vinny's definitely getting the axe this round. I think after this round, Vinny's gonna be done. Rob needs to get the axe. The mascot is gone. Eliminate <laughs> It's time for the next cut. Will it be Steve, Rob, or Vinny? This is totally harder than the last round because um, obviously I gotta cut one of you guys and I'm not sure who to do. I honestly, if, I, if there was a three-headed coin, I'd flip it. But I gotta cut one of you. <laughs> and um, I'm cutting Vinny. And pretty much for the same reason that I, that I cut Paul, is that just a little reserved and... I'm a little disappointed that uh, the mascot's still around and uh, I'm not. And I said all along that I wanted somebody to challenge and be outgoing and arrogant and he knows that that's not him. She's about being competitive and about laughing. I think Vinny was a little bit quiet. Vinny had no choice but to take the beating like a man and it's exactly what I plan on doing in the next round. I feel bad saying this because he obviously beat me, but if the mascot wins, I will kill myself. The next round, I'm taking these guys to the Admiral, which is a strip club. I think when I first brought them to the Admiral Club, they really didn't know what to think. Very nice. What is this you have in store for us? I'm pretty confident in who I am, and I thought if you guys had the opportunity to look at other women, would you? And I'm hoping that you will. So why don't we go in and have a good time? I think Amber's decision to take us to the Admiral Theater was a great one. Strip club would never have been my first choice. Uh, I'm not the kind of guy to hang out here. So we're in for an adventure now. Yeah, I'd say. Yep, I got a little present for you. Yeah? This is a little different than the chocolates I gave you earlier, I think. I think for you, it'd be a little sweeter. A little sweeter? A little sweeter. Maybe so. How are you doing? Good, how are you? My name's Steve. 
And see I what's going on? What's on? She's got a little surprise for me. When girls are right in their face, I want to see how they react legitimately and seriously. I've never not had fun playing with strippers. You know, I wasn't a big fan of the strippers. You know, you could obviously tell that those women have had uh, more silicon than Silicon Valley. This. I'll give you a few more bucks to go over there with him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna entertain Amber a little bit. When Steve paid the other girl to go over to Rob and so he could spend a little time with me, that was a great move. Steve's strategy in getting to Amber was through conversation, and I knew that the time for talk was over, it was time for action. Oh no, he's here for me. Oh wow, okay. check this out. <laughs> This is comedy right here. I think I made my strongest connection tonight when I put the dollar bills up and down her leg. Humorous. Definitely something to laugh at. If I were to give him a name, male, male slut would be the name I'd give this guy. What are you heading for? You Nothing. got those to go for I still. Know, get him. He seems to take time. We don't want to rush into anything. They probably thought that I was here just to see some trashy strip show. But what I really wanted was to see some spontaneity out of the guys. Boys. They certainly put on a show for you guys. Yeah. Yes, they did. Uh, you started to put on a show for me. I wouldn't mind seeing you finish that. How about we uh, take the stage behind me? I never saw a stage I didn't like. You couldn't pay me enough to get up there and on the chest to this guy. Oh, not effort here. Yeah. Thanks oh, about this dude. Very good. <laughs> I'm not sure what girl would be turned on by that. I don't think he was attracting any women with that kind of retarded dancing he was doing. I definitely had Amber's attention, and I did everything she asked for and a little bit more. He certainly wasn't afraid to get up there and strip for me. I like that about him. I believe that's yours. If I'm going on stage, you're coming. I'm not coming up there with you. You want to dance a little bit with me on stage? Give me a little show, and then I might What's join that? you. No, no, you're coming up there with me now. He knew he couldn't follow an act like that. To be honest, I really didn't want anything to do with going up on stage, but I figured if I was going up there, Amber was going to come with me. I need a woman up on stage with me. Four bucks, I'll start off with giving you two. Four bucks, I got a pocket full of money. And he showed how much of a coward and a chicken he was, which made me do nothing but bust into the chicken dance because that's all he could do at that point. He asked me to get up there with him. I didn't mind that at all, but he didn't do much to get into it. So uh, I immediately hopped off the stage and then wanted the two of them then to go toe to toe. You guys dance. I'm not much one for dancing on stage. Oh. See, all I want you to do is take your shirt off. What's that? You can take my shirt off. I'll take your shirt off. How's that? What's that? That's good enough. I knew that he was a bit uncomfortable. I started to go slow and then I decided to rip it off because it was taking too much time. So now you won't even get up on stage with me now? Who will Amber choose, Rob or Steve? The final cut is next. A limit day. <laughs> well, it's the final round, and unfortunately, I have to eliminate one of you guys. I don't want to do this. Um, the time has come. The time has come. I'm going to go with the guy that I would just typically date on a normal day, and that would be Steve. So I'm eliminating Rob. I think maybe the only reason is he just went a little too over the top. I think Amber wasn't thinking clearly. She made a big mistake by letting me go, and she's going to realize it down the road. Was he tall enough? No. I and he's it. too short. I knew it. This is a win, win, win situation. Steve, you have Amber. Amber, you have Steve. And I'm going to go get me some strippers. I think the final clincher was uh, if I can be as shallow and callous as, as the chest, I was pleasantly surprised. Thank you. <laughs> nice. Um.